my name is Laura Eldridge. I'm an early childhood educator and co-creator of the SEEDS Network. Today I'm going to talk about how you can do some outdoor activity crafts with preschoolers. So when preschoolers are outside, you can think really big as far as the types of creative opportunities that they have out there because you have more space. They have more space to move around. You have more space to create art. So one of the things you could do like in the spring or the summer, I just have a small piece of paper, but I suggest getting out a large roll of easel paper and taping it to like a fence and then having some squirt bottles filled with liquid watercolor and letting them have a ball just squirting those colors onto like a big piece of easel paper. You can have a few children working at a time to create like a big mural and they'll like to see how the colors mix together and I think most preschoolers can attest that they just like to play with a squirt bottle. So that's a great idea that you can use for art that you can do in the spring or the summer when it's warm. In the fall, you can look towards making some nature collages. There's lots of opportunities for things that they can find in nature. So leaves and grass or straw. Take some clear contact paper and again, think bigger because you could take this outside and unroll a big piece and they can go and find different things like seeds or different things like that, acorns and they can make a beautiful little nature collage. I'm making it on a really small scale, but they can make it on a much bigger scale. Um, another idea is to take some masking tape, and they can make a nature bracelet. So they can put this around their wrist, and then as they find things outside that they might like to attach to their bracelet, they can do so as they go along and as they play. And when they come back inside, they'll have a bracelet with all kinds of things that they found in nature. So that's another little art activity that they can do outside. And if you happen to be in an area where it snows in the winter time, you can still be very creative and do some art projects. Bring out those squirt, those squirt bottles again with the liquid food color and it works just as well on the snow. And again, think of the canvas that the children will have to decorate on with the liquid watercolor and all that snow. And you can even take it one step further. You can take some food coloring and some water and make some colored ice cubes that you can bring outside and that they can build with. And they can make all kinds of structures and things like that outside so they can still be very creative even out playing in the cold winter months. So I hope you enjoyed some of these activities. Thanks for tuning in. For more ideas and resources for early childhood educators, check us out at theseedsnetwork.com.